Guy Martin, Worms the Catch. Worms the Catch is Guy Martin's third book and picks up in what would be the middle of his second book called When You're Dead, You're Dead. Guy's written storytelling, much like his life, jumps back and forth in time, and a linear storytelling just wouldn't be Guy, so I recommend reading his other books before this one. This book mostly deals with the non-motorcycle racing guy. Even while recovering from a massive crash at the Ulster Grand Prix, Guy was not about to put his feet up and take it easy. He returns to his attempt to break the world record on the world's biggest wall of death. He trains for and then rides the Tour Divide cycling solo 2,745 miles across the length of Canada and the United States, stopping only necessary for rest. He attempts to break the fastest two-wheel speed record on a Triumph Streamliner at the legendary Bonneville Salt Flats. He also tries to set a record with a custom Ford turbocharged transit van. He also manages a more sedate adventure, traveling to Lafia to investigate his family roots. At the end of the book, Guy is lured back to motorcycle racing for another attempt at the elusive TT win. All things mentioned here take place in the course of little over a year, and you can see that Guy Martin in that time frame has done more than most could do in their entire life. As with his other two books, I found this one difficult to put down but highly recommended. This book is available in softcover and I will leave a link for it in the description.